Unified police have now identified the person they believe is responsible for a social media post that directed an unsubstantiated threat to Kearns High School. Fox 13 News reporter Chris Arnold spoke with the Granite School District within just the past hour. He joins us live from outside the Granite Education Center. Chris, what are they saying? Well, good evening, Kelly. This letter went out to Granite School District parents and families about an hour or so ago, detailing what the district and UPD have been investigating. Now, the district tells me that student who was identified is a student at Kearns High School and could be facing charges of both administrative discipline and criminal charges, which police just told me could include terroristic threat charges as well. Now, Matt Sampson, a spokesman with the Granite School District, says there were reports of a generic threat made about two weeks ago, but they could not pinpoint where that photo came from until it began circulating around social media last night. Now, he says at the same time, police were able to determine that it was related to, Skir to Kearns High School specifically. Now, Sampson says that image was posted to a group chat on Snapchat by the suspect as a joke, showing a metal beam where the words the shooting and today's date, December 5th, 2022, had been written. Now, Sampson says through the police investigation, it became clear the threat was incredible and the suspect didn't have the means to carry it out. Now, in an earlier statement today, many parents were up in arms on social media when the district asked them to be more proactive when it comes to monitoring their children's social media. So I asked Sampson, why is it so important to have their help? We've been dealing with threats like this consistently, they're taxing. They're enormously taxing both in terms of the amount of resources that are used by the district, the amount of resources that are used by law enforcement to investigate. We're asking parents to help because we need students to be aware of the very serious implications that posting fake social media threats like this have for them. And to put this all in perspective, Samson says the students in that group chat who also go to Kearns High School shared the post instead of reporting it, meaning they could also face administrative and criminal penalties as well. Now, again, while this threat was deemed not credible, Samson says it did have an impact on attendance at Kearns High School today. He says it was down 50 percent because of this entire incident. For now, live in South Salt Lake, Chris Arnold, Fox 13 News, Utah.